Hello, my Sagittarian, and welcome now to Thursday. Cloudy, pensive, but maybe quiet at the same time. They may go hand in hand. The moon is well into Aquarius, putting emotions and intellect into the same awareness right now. So you're basically processing your emotions, your thoughts, what your thoughts lead to for emotions, back and forth, back and forth. Excellent time really to communicate now that the moon is in chapter two. Maybe have that important conversation with someone, get something off your chest. At minimum, go see a therapist, go see a practitioner like Julie or Skip. Get something articulated as far as how your feelings are. In fact, this is the transit where by articulating how you feel, you yourself become more clear on how you feel. So it's an excellent time to communicate just that. Or maybe you're just in your head and it's all inner dialogue. Zip into the sun. We're in chapter two of Sun and Capricorn. Today, Neptune's ruling the day. That's the synergy energy. That is energy that logs us into our higher self or our subconscious, if you will and gives us access to really our guardian agents. This is the best time to ask psychic questions. Three times a month, everyone on the planet is more psychic than usual, which means they're subconscious, which means be careful before you cross the street. Everyone is a little bit out of it today. And really, especially when it, in regards to this month's topic, which is your soul capital and your value and your ability to manifest value, if you're having trouble understanding why it is you don't believe in yourself in a certain way, why is it that I can't keep a job? Why is it that I don't feel self-confident in this circumstance? This is the day to ask your higher self, to ask your guides, what is the problem? And you can just feel through it to the bottom of the problem, like a psychic. The answer will bubble up today. And if nothing else, ask your guides for some sort of symbol, okay, some sort of sign. You'll get it in that form if that's the way you need to see it. Now, Mars is showing that there will be some sort of breakthrough activity that revolves around soul capital starting as soon as yesterday through tomorrow. So you might get some sort of notice in the mail. You might get some sort of bill you weren't expecting. You might get some sort of small bonus from work. Something is going to give you a physical action-based symbol of what you should or shouldn't do when it comes to your soul capital. And if you have the opportunity to act on something, to invest in yourself or to say yes to a project, Mars is showing you should probably take some action for more revealing of what should or shouldn't be done. So looks like you'll have to step before you know all the way. And it's Thursday. We've got an episode of Renegade Room with Therapist Live today with Sneaky Salter. She is doing an episode on Clary Sage. Now, if you're a light worker, you probably are familiar with Sage. We use it to clear our homes and clear our certain space of negative energies. She's going to get real deep on Clary Sage, how to use it, not just by smoking it and putting the smoke in your house, but also eating and on your skin and the aroma of it. She gets deep on clarification of sage everywhere, Soul Garden Streams. Don't miss her. Okay, that's all I have for today, Sagittarius. Tomorrow, Venus moves into your sign. Until then, live, love, be. Soul Garden.